Baking with Lou, series two, no, episode two. So today, chocolate cake. Now, firm favorite on the boat this, and as like tray bake, easy, easy to make, and bonus, gluten free. So all the ingredients you need is here. So you need 150 ml of nice strong filter coffee. You could use a make more and have your own. You could use an espresso pod or some other coffee machine pod would do the same thing. You need 200 grams of caster sugar, 200 grams of butter, and 200 grams of a dark chocolate. Now, I use this, which is 70%, and the beauty of this, this is from Aldi, it's £1.49, and it's 125 grams in each pack, which means... You get two of these left over to eat uh, chocolate, and then you will need three medium eggs. Although um, I think they're large. Anyway, doesn't matter. So easy, easy. Now, just get yourself a pan. Tip this lot in. I just tend to start with the butter because it hopefully will melt first. Then the chocolate, and it goes. Then the sugar. In it goes, and then I'll just tip in this lovely strong coffee over the top, put it on heat to melt. So that's really that simple. That will now melt, and uh, what you need to do is you need to leave it, once it's melted, turn the heat down, leave it on simmer. Give it an occasional stir because you finally, the final part of this is to mix it with eggs. Okay, and so you want a nice glossy finish to the chocolate, but you need to let it cool. Okay, so I've made some more, problematic. Uh, I've put it on my windowsill to cool down. So this is what it should look like once it's cooled down and it's a beautiful shiny colour. Okay, then you get your eggs, which I've already whacked into there. Okay, and you're going to just break them up a bit. You don't want to get a pile of air in them, really. And once you've done that, you're going to tip this lovely, lovely chocolate into here. Ooh, there it goes. Get your spatula. Make sure you get it all out and into there. Okay, and now really you've just got to combine the chocolate with the egg. Again, it's not really a beat. It's just get it combined, almost folding it in. I mean, I've tried using a whisk for this, but it doesn't really work that well. So I'm just gonna stir it vigorously with my fork. And there we have it. Okay, if the chocolate would be too hot, this would this would go, this would almost give you like a scrambled egg in chocolate, which is probably not to be recommended. Right, so there you go. That's simple. That bit's done. Then you're gonna take that mix, same size baking tray as before we had with our tray bake. Okay, ten and a half by seven inches. And as before, nicely lined with grease proof there. And you're simply going to tip this mixture into here, like so. Again, all in. Scrape the edges with your spatula. There it is. Beautiful. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Now that goes in the oven. 180 for 30 minutes. Uh, set the timer after 25 and just check it, but 30 minutes it should take. So in it goes. See you in 30 minutes. Okay, I neglected to mention that this mixture here should be allowed to simmer for at least 10 minutes, 10-15 tops, yeah? 
but 10 minutes for sure. And then we'll uh, we'll get that on our windowsill and allow it to cool. Stirring it, you know, to, I mean, I'd put it on here and have the window open a bit because it helps, it helps cool it down. Um, this, by the way, is not a cake that you can eat the day you make it because it needs to go in the fridge um, overnight. Um, so this is ready to come out of the oven now and it will look odd if it's not going to look like any cake you've ever made before. And so that's pretty much what it looks like. Okay, and you've got to let that just cool down a bit. But that's, that will be what it looks like, it looks really odd. You let that cool down a bit and then you're going to pull it out onto a cooling rack. And once it's cooled right, right down, you rack it, wrap it in cling film and put it in the fridge. And then the next day, it's beautiful. Gooey, rich chocolate with a hint of coffee. And that's uh, the chocolate cookie, cookie, it's not cookie, the chocolate's fudgy type cake. No flour, gluten free. Enjoy.